Hey, Alex, I want to know what you would do if you were president. So, from what I know, Joseph Coney, this independent journalist, found out that Joseph Coney had been kidnapping children at night and turning them into warriors, basically. Uh, so much so that there was actual video footage of all these kids sleeping in a giant room so that they didn't get kidnapped. That they would all like travel to a hidden place and sleep there at night. Now, if that was happening in your hometown, I don't know where your hometown is, maybe I should try and figure it out, but if your local mayor had like 600 guys that he recruited and gave them all AK-47s, AK-57, AK-47, AK uh, and also had an AK, and then started kidnapping children in town, would you deal with it? Would you talk about it on your show? Um, I don't think necessarily spreading corporate agenda into this country is the way to go. I don't think that, you know, propping up a, a global currency because, you know, Evelyn de Rothschild wants to become a quadrillionaire is the best thing for humanity, but it looks like it's been happening. I hear that the Iranian national banks are a target. Um, it doesn't mean that our government is bad. It doesn't mean that the will of the people is bad. The will of the people can be misdirected. Um... I don't think that this Coney piece is misdirecting people, though. I mean, it's just raising fervor, which can be utilized by people with money to manipulate them, like like Rockefellers, Rothschilds, you know, there's these global bankers. Um, Carnegie's, uh, and, uh, you know, turn this anger towards uh, an agenda. That's the problem. But that's, don't get angry at the people pointing out the problem if they don't know that the the agenda these these bankers have an agenda to utilize the reaction don't get mad at them and say they gotta go to prison for that educate them the truth is the people in charge well they're not in charge the people that make the money want want to keep doing that It's about as frustrating as riding a bull. It's still a bull. Like, okay, so let's let's reinvigorate here. Yet another global problem. Some crazy shit that's going down. And of course, everybody's like, "Ooh, I'm interested in what you're doing. I want to go and get in the middle of that." these Americans. You can just assume it's like an American, it's just a certain mindset of like, we gotta help the rest of the world. Because I watch too much TV. Um, or play too many video games. That's what, that's what, how I go about it. So, we gotta go, we got, we don't have to go in there, we could let this, this African warlord continue, we could let war, warrior tribalism succeed in Africa. Um, it's probably not the best idea, because one of those warlords is going to establish a huge base of power. And then he's going to have 600 million guns, instead of 600 guns, or 6,000 guns, or 60,000 guns. Uh, I think that people kind of let Hitler go on his own. And then... Then what? Popular opinion was just too extreme. I mean, realistically, if the popular opinion rules, dude. Uh... The government is a representation of popular opinion, and the government's got a fucking symbiote sucking on its brainal core. And that symbiote is the federal, well, in the United States, it's the Federal Reserve, but it's basically the central bank of central banks. It's the people that are printing and selling money to the government. The people don't have to buy money from the government. They're choosing to right now, and we can choose not to. We can choose to print our own money somewhere else, or we can choose to establish a new private company to print our money for us. I don't know, socialized money sounds kind of like a smart idea, in a way. The fuck? 
Okay, man, I hope you're doing okay. You seem kind of angry at that line coming here. I get sometimes when I get real intense. I don't know. It's like the, the, the brain muscles are pushing the head forward. It's probably not long-term healthy, so take it easy and breathe and massage your head. See you later.